Hello, my name's John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata, and welcome to another MetPy Monday. This week, I wanted to show you how to use interactive widgets in Jupyter Notebooks to let you make calculators that students can interact with in an intuitive way and explore data. You'll see a lot of uses for these interactive widgets in your classes with even non-major students or in creating handy little utilities for yourself to explore data. We're gonna use a very simple example today, which is I recently installed a weather station in my backyard, and what comes back on the display by default is the temperature and the relative humidity. I would like to know what the dew point is, so I'm going to make an interactive calculator that uses the MetPy calculation module, our unit conversion, and Jupyter Notebook widgets. So to get started, we open up a terminal, I'm gonna be using the Unidata workshop environment again, just because it's handy and has all the packages that we need. So source, activate, Unidata workshop, and then we fire up Jupyter Notebooks. Jupyter Notebook. We're gonna create a new notebook. Click up here in the title, and I'm gonna give it the name Dewpoint calculator. All right. So first we need to do some imports. We'll start off with the ones that we're familiar with. metpy.calc as mpcalc. And we're going to import from metpy units the unit registry. Now we need to go ahead and bring in the widgets. So from IPy widgets, we're going to import the interact float slider and int slider widgets. And we're going to create a function to calculate the dew point given a temperature and relative humidity. And then it will return a nice rounded answer for us and then we'll call that with these interactive widgets. So my function is calculate dew point and its parameters. It takes temperature and relative humidity. Now we need to assign units. By default, the sliders are just going to give us numbers and we know from earlier MetPy Mondays that MetPy works with units. So we're gonna to have to specify what unit we're using, we could add drop downs as a more advanced feature to the calculator to let the user specify the units. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and specify that the temperature is going to be in degrees Fahrenheit. And the relative humidity that we're given is going to be in percent, which percent may seem like a strange unit, but MetPy is expecting relative humidity to lie in the range zero to one. So if we give MetPy 50% without any units attached, we're going to get a bogus answer. But if we attach the units, it's smart enough to be able to handle it. And then I'm going to return our answer from mpcalc. We have a function, so you don't need to write the math, dewpoint underscore rh, that takes temperature and relative humidity and returns the dew point. Now we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we return degrees Fahrenheit. So dot two, dag F. And then the last thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna round it because this will give us an answer with absurd amounts of precision that we don't need and don't really mean anything. So I'm gonna use the Python function round and round it to one decimal place. So round the first parameter being the answer that we get in degrees Fahrenheit, and this how many decimal places of precision we would like. Now I need to create the sliders that we're going to use that you'll drag the mouse on to change the temperature and humidity. So I'm gonna temperature slider, I'm gonna create that as a float slider, which means it can be a floating point value. I'm gonna specify a minimum temperature of 32, a maximum temperature of let's say 90, step in increments of half degree, and the default value starting out, let's make it 65. 
Okay, then we need the relative humidity slider. I'm gonna make this an integer slider. So it's only gonna be whole numbers. Minimum of one, maximum of let's say 100, not worry about super saturation. And let's start out right in the center at a value of 50. Now we need to tie the sliders that we've created to our calculate dew point function. And the easiest way to do that is with this interact function. So to interact, we pass our calculate dew point function, and then the parameters that the function expects, so temperature and RH, we're going to give it our slider objects. So temperature is going to be our temperature slider. Again, tab completion saves you some typing there. And relative humidity is going to be our relative humidity slider. And I'm gonna put a semicolon on the end to stop any other output from showing up. Run that cell, and you see we have two sliders, temperature and relative humidity, and our dew point is shown down here. So looking at the current observations, I'm actually at 50% relative humidity right now, but my temperature is only about 61 and a half. So if I drag that slider, I see that my dew point is 42.7 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So it's easy to drag these sliders around and say, okay, if I'm at 92% humidity and I'm dragging the temperature around, what does that look like? You can see a lot of ways to interact with even more complicated equations, maybe things that are not quite so straightforward to get an intuitive feel of what each parameter does. You're literally turning the knobs on the equation. So I hope you find this useful in both your research and your teaching. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on the next MetPy Monday.